Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In our video today, we will compare artificial intelligence or AI with machine learning or ML. This is personally one of my favorite questions that I do ask when I meet people or during interviews. With AI being very hot, a lot of people kind of tend to forget the basics as to, hey, what are some of the key differences between these technologies? So what I have done today is I have created a small table that you can use as a cheat sheet to answer this question effectively. Now, while there are multiple differences between these two technologies and not all of them can be enlisted over here, it is good to have a few points in your back pocket. So let us get started. The first point that I have over here is the definition. By definition, AI refers to creation of systems that simulate human intelligence. It is as simple as that. Remember the word intelligence comes from human intelligence. And since it is man-made, it is artificial intelligence. That's the basic definition of AI. Well, as ML or machine learning is a subset of AI that focuses on algorithms that enable systems to learn from data and make predictions. So the first point that you want to understand over here is ML is a subset of AI. So let me draw here, if this is AI, then this smaller circle will be ML. So essentially everything that is ML is AI, but AI has far more or much more than ML. So AI is a superset, and ML is a subset. In fact, you can even answer the question saying that, hey, AI is a superset, ML is a subset. It could also be one of the differentiating factors. It could be part of the definition or just otherwise as well. So please remember that ML is a subset of AI that basically focuses on developing systems that learn from data and make predictions. Now let us look at what the intention is. In AI, the intention is to develop systems or create systems that can perform tasks autonomously. Autonomously is the key word over there. Why? Remember, AI is the simulation of human intelligence. Humans perform tasks independently. So essentially, what you are trying to do is you are trying to simulate that very same behavior and you are trying to create systems that can perform tasks in an autonomous manner. What is ML all about? ML is about building models that can improve their performance on a specific task over a period of time with more data. So ML is highly data driven. Now let us look at the approach. The approach for AI is symbolic reasoning. We have heuristics, we have predefined rules along with multiple learning algorithms. Heuristics, a lot of people do not know what this is. In very simple words, heuristics is again a simulation of human behavior. As humans, a lot of time, we take a decision in a specific amount of time. And that decision may not be the best decision, but you can say it is a workable solution or a workaround. Heuristics is something very similar in which AI is programmed to make a decision or come up with a solution in a specific amount of time. The solution may not be the best solution, but it is a workable solution or a work around. So that is what heuristics is all about in very simple layman terms. Of course, you could have a whole video on that. If possible, I'll create one, but just keep that in mind. So one of the approaches is, is heuristics when it comes to AI. When it comes to ML, ML primarily relies on statistical methods and algorithms that learn from data. Remember, ML is all about data. Now let us look at some of the techniques involved. With AI, you have decision trees, you have gen genetic algorithms, especially in healthcare, you have neural networks. With ML, you have supervised learning like regression, classification. You have unsupervised learning like clustering. You have reinforcement learning and you have deep learning as well. Now, 
once you have developed something, how would you improve its performance? You know, that's one of the points that you should think about. So performance improvement is, is absolutely critical. For AI, performance improvement could be through updates to rules or integration of multiple learning methods. With ML, there are no points to guess that. The improvement typically happens when it is exposed to more data or you adjust the model parameters to enhance accuracy. Learning process. With AI, the learning process could be explicit or implicit, that is through data or through rules or through heuristics. In ML, the learning process typically is explicit, that is, it is through data. Applications. So some of the applications for AI could be robotics, automobiles, you know, game playing like chess. You could have other games as well, by the way. In ML, it is generally like, you know, image recognition, speech recognition, any kind of predictive analysis. Remember, data is used to make predictions. So any kind of predictive analysis could be one of the key applications for ML. And finally, an example, you have virtual assistants, autonomous vehicles, intelligent robots. In ML, you have image recognition, email filtering or spam detection. So these are some of the points. You need not remember all of them. But what I would say is that remember a few of them, like have four or five, like for example, definition or the intention. That those two are pretty simple. You could also have the techniques. Like you can differentiate between the techniques. So this is, these are the three top three. And you could also have the learning processes over here. And maybe of course, finally, application or example. So that way you can answer this question highly effectively. If you want to learn more about these two technologies, and I would certainly encourage that, please refer to these overview tutorials that I had created some time back. I've mentioned the URL right here at the bottom. I will also have it mentioned in the description of this video. So this is it from me today, guys. I hope that this video was helpful and do post your comments and I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.